shit. Please turn on your video. Harshit, Yukta, Akshara. Harshit, you also turn on your video, dear. Yukta, your video is turned off. Kindly turn it on. So, hello everyone. I hope you're all done with your class 8 by now. Or you're no, still... mama, my final exams are going on. Your exams are going on. Okay. Uh, so, when is your final exam getting over? March 21st. And Pranav, what about you? Yours are finished? Sorry, ma'am. Can you repeat again? From Pranav, if it is finished. Akshra, what about you? Yours is finished? Finished. Harshit, what about you? Ma'am, tomorrow is my last exam. Yukta, what about you? Good evening, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm done. Can you turn on your video? Okay, Jitendra, are you done with your class 8 or still your final exams are going on? Completed, ma'am. But I can't see your video. I would request you to keep your video turned on. Yeah. Okay, children. So, I'll be taking your chemistry. And uh, first and foremost thing, we'll discuss some few things about science. What chemistry, what importance does chemistry holds in class 9th, right? And then later we are going to start with the main topic, which is the chapter, fine. So I'll just share my screen and then I, we are going to go ahead. Okay, uh, before I move forward, I just, it totally skipped out of my mind. I forgot to introduce myself. So you can see my name already. My name is Monica and I'll be teaching you chemistry in the entire session. Right. So yeah, I hope my screen is visible to everyone. Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> uh, so in your schools in class eight, were you already seeing science as a bifurcated subject into physics, chemistry, bio, or is it the first time that you will be seeing that? Yeah. Tell me, Vanisha, what about your school? Was it first already... time? Ma'am, we knew it was physics and bio, uh, chemistry and biology. In the same textbook, it was getting divided. But in class 9th also, the textbooks remains the same. As in, if we talk about NCRT book, in our schools also, and I hope in your schools also, they follow the main book as NCRT and reference book they might have given. I'm talking to everyone. It could be anyone's school, right? So in NCRT, we get to see physics, chemistry, bio, all three together only. But then if we come uh, talk about the reference book, any other book apart from NCRT, those you may find physics, chemistry, bio separately, physics different, chemistry different, and biology different, right? And further, one important thing is, in fact, in our schools, what happens is we start teaching physics, chemistry, biology separately from class 6 onwards. So why class 9th? Everyone is very much aware about the con basic concepts of physics and chemistry and biology. Fine. So I'll tell you first of all, what is chemistry actually? And in class 9, we are going to deal with all the chapters which define chemistry actually fine so chemistry is basically that branch of science in which <clears throat> we study about the comp the matter then the composition of matter means i'll explain you the meaning once I finished writing. <laughs> Composition of matter and classification of matter. Classification of matter. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. So, what is science actually? Science is basically 
the involvement of many concepts which might be involved either in physics or chemistry or biology and what is chemistry chemistry is that branch of science in which we study specifically about the matter then composition means what matter is made up of right and lastly classification of matter means what all things are involved in teaching chemistry uh teaching mathematics is it clear to everyone any doubt still here is everyone clear with this term that what chemistry is and what we are going to study in chemistry yes okay harshit please keep your video turned on i cannot keep on repeating the same thing again and again i request you to keep it on during the entire session okay beta okay the next important thing is what all we are going to study in class 9th chemistry fine so the first chapter which we are going to study in class 9 is matter in our surroundings i hope you are all from cbsc board only yeah jitendra what about you i cannot see your face face only your head i can see you are also from cbsc board right yes ma'am so the first chapter is matter in our surroundings then next chapter the second chapter is is matter around us pure then the third chapter is atoms and molecules and the last chapter which we have to study is the structure of atom <clears throat> so children what happens is the basis of class 9 whatever you study today or by the end of the session also in class 9 is going to form the basis of your science in class 11 like if you uh, if i tell you the real picture the same chapter the name also even is the same in case of uh, in class 11th of this chapter there is one chapter whose name is structure of atom only in the rest three we are going to study a few things which are the basis of class 11 if you study very well in class 9 in class 11th you will surely be able to remember what all basis you had done right so the first chapter which we will be starting will be matter in our surroundings in this chapter we are going to read about what matter is how do you understand or how can you identify if a given substance is matter or not then what are the characteristics of matter then what are the classification of matter and um, that's all right and then conversion of one state of matter to another i'll tell you about each topic in detail then in the second chapter once we know what matter is if anything given to us is matter or not then we classify that particular substance which we said that it is matter into if that particular substance is pure or not but when i we will come to this chapter then i will make you understand what this what does this word pure actually means the word pure actually doesn't mean that it has the substance if it all a substance is not a pure substance then it has some impurities in it no in chemistry we define pure substances as something else we will be studying in detail about pure substances and so called impure substances which are actually not impure because it has some impurities in it fine we will discuss about that in the second chapter then when you come to know what is a pure substance and its classification then we come to know about actually the classification of pure substances are involves atoms and molecules which uh, a few words of these atoms and molecules we are going to study in chapter 1 also and lastly once you know what atoms are we are going to study about the structure what the atoms possess what different scientists came up with and what the final conclusion was clear everyone fine oh, great so let us begin with the first chapter which is the matter in our surroundings 
can anyone amongst you tell me what do you think could be matter we must have studied you must have studied in one of your classes sometime you may raise your hand or randomly i should ask yukta can you tell me what is matter matter is something which has mass and occupies space very good that's absolutely correct anything that occupies space anything that occupies space and has mass two most important things is considered to be matter fine is considered to be matter and then <clears throat> looking at different substances there are some substances which by you may not be able to see but you can feel them so there is one small point we add on to what can be considered as matter that matter can be felt can be felt by any of our any of our five senses like if we use any of our five senses we are able to uh, judge them then we consider that particular substance also to be as matter any doubts still here fine so now let us move to the next thing i will be giving only two examples rest i will be asking all of you to classify different substances as if they are matter or they are not matter fine so that you are very much clear with the uh, classification or identification of matter fine so before uh, just a second children before we move further about the classification of matter one thing i would like to add on here and then we will identify whether the given substances are matter or not matter fine so what i was about to add was there were some ancient indian philosophers according to which whom they said that all matter matter whether living or non living all matter whether living or non living according to some ancient indian indian ancient indian ancient indian philosophers all matter whether living or non living whether living i'm sorry the spelling is incorrect here whether living or non living is made up of that's a very important point which i am writing and then as soon as i finish writing we will discuss it is made up of five basic constituents commonly called <coughs> panch tatva can anyone tell me or think of what these panch tatva may be if you know then you will tell me otherwise i will tell you all can anyone try uh you might have not you surely you must not have read in the chemistry book or the science book ever for now but you must have heard it maybe somewhere from your parents sometime so if anyone knows prana no वनीषा नो अक्षरा नो युक्ता नो मैम मैम इज समथिंग लाइक वाटर फायर एंड अर्थ एंड विंड ओके हर्षित और जितेंद्र एनी ऑफ यू नो एनी एनीथिंग अबाउट इट नो जितेंद्र Jitendra, you are on mute. I cannot hear you. Neither can I see you. Also, yes, ma'am. Anything you know about these five bunch stuffs? No. 
fine i will tell you all first one is air which you said as wind so that's air the second one being the earth then the third one being fire fourth one being sky and the last one water sometimes what happens this is a very basic line which was given in ncert also which we tend to miss out but it's very important why because sometimes they ask uh, an mcq from this question uh, this particular part only that they give you five to six different substances and they ask you if this is the panchatat or not so these are the only five things air fire water sky and earth which overall makes up the matter this was the initial definition which was given clear everyone fine so first we will do some classification of matter and then later i will tell you what the scientists thought matter looked like or what it was made from and then later what was the final conclusion fine we will do some identifications of matter and then later we will go ahead fine chaliye so identify the given substances the in case anyone is unable to understand any point you may stop me and ask fine identify the given substances as matter or not but i will ask you the questions fine one by one you are going to tell me so let's start from you prana what do you think that um, milk is matter or not nobody else will nod their head or say a yes or no because the other children can see you and recognize the answer fine yes prana what do you think is milk a matter or not <clears throat> no no just remember the basic two things fine the first thing is prana turn on your video uh, first thing is that it should occupy this और हेज द मास the substances only two conditions you have to remember while i write whatever i find right? either it should have some mass or it should occupy some space right clear so milk will be now your answer is a matter or not matter matter uh, next jitendra tell me about air it is matter ma'am it does occupy space and has mass also see you cannot see air around yourself but then you can feel it first thing secondly if i film how do you say that how can you show that air is occupying some space you take a balloon fine yes manisha go ahead please yes ma'am i wanted to tell a balloon example yeah so if we take a balloon and we blow it it occupy space first thing and then if you try to weigh the deflated balloon and the inflated balloon then there will be the weight of the inflated balloon would be more why because it has some air in it fine so it has both mass as well as it occupies space aksha let's come to you an easy question i think so what about chalk yes ma'am matter yes again it's matter next harshit tell me about common salt do you know what is common salt yeah ma'am what matter it is matter but do you know what is common salt yeah what is that um sodium chloride yeah sodium chloride and it's the usual salt which we eat at our home that is common salt fine okay next um okay heat uh, the answer will be given by yukta did you answer till now not yet right 
Tell me about it. If it is or not, ma'am. Ma'am, it's not. Your voice. It's not matter. Hello. Yeah. Now you are audible. Ma'am, uh, it's not matter. Yes, that's correct. Because it's a form of energy. So energy neither occupying any space nor having any mass, so it is not matter. Chalo, next part. Um, uh, tell me about the sound. Uh, Vanisha, what do you think? Ma'am, it is not a matter. The reason being the same. Again, sound is a form of energy. Akshra, next we'll come up to you. Uh, tell me about, I don't know if you are able to understand this term or not. Do you know this term, magnetism? Uh, I'm not sure about it. Um, I'll tell you what this does this term mean. Everyone, please pay attention. Magnetism is basically uh, the generation of magnetic property for certain time in any substances, right? So it is related to the magnet. So, do you think that if at all a substance is, uh, <coughs> I'm really sorry, <clears throat> if at all a substance is having some kind of magnetic property, will it be considered that process is considered as matter or not? No, I don't think it's considered as matter. Yes, it is not considered as a matter because if you talk about magnet, then yes, it is a what? It is a matter, but whereas magnetism is a process which involves the generation of magnetic properties. Clear, everyone? Chalye. Uh, next, come, uh, let's come to Harshit. Harshit, uh, let's see if you can think of the answer for this one. What do you think? Ma'am, I don't think it's matter because it's smell. Because it's smell just smell. If, for example, I apply a perfume here and you are like hundred meters away from me, uh, from me, will you be able to smell my perfume? No. Let me just change the question. Uh, if I make some food, fine. It is hot. And uh, you are maybe again 100 meters away from the food which I have made. Will you be able to smell the food? Ma'am, this smell is more than we can. Sorry? Means if the uh, means smell is widely spread in the room or the area, then we can smell it. Generally, it does. Whenever we uh, our parents are like, like your parents are cooking food, so you get to know that the food is being prepared, right? What is being prepared is not the concern, but something is being prepared, you prepared, you get to know. If at all the things are hot. So the smell, yes, it does travel, fine, from one place to another. We are going to study all of this in detail also in this chapter only. So same is the case of the perfume. We can feel the smell of perfume. So the smell of the perfume is considered to be matter. We can feel the smell of the perfume. We can feel the smell of a cooking food. So both are considered to be matter. Clear, beta? Everyone else also clear? Jitendra, now it's your turn to answer the next part. Um, do you know what is ammonia? Anyone? Anyone knows? No? I'll give you the formula for now and I'll tell you a very small use of it. The formula of ammonia is NH3. It's a compound. And also ammonia is basically used uh, by the plants uh, for their better growth. It's used as a fertilizer somewhere. So now you tell me, Jitendra, thinking, will it be considered as matter or not? Yes, Jitendra, what do you think? Jitendra, you are on mute. 
ओके प्रणव कैन यू थिंक एंड टेल मी इट इज मैटर नाउ प्रणव नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन नॉन मैटर Not matter because neither occupying any space nor having any mass. Let's come to the <clears throat> next. Who did not get a chance? Okay, so Yukta, tell me about almonds. Ma'am, it is matter. Yes, it is. And <clears throat> do you want me to give you one or uh, one chance? One more chance. Each one of you, or shall I move further? चलो लेट मी गिव यू वन मोर चांस एंड देन वी विल मूव फॉर द फाइनल ओके लेट अस बिगिन फ्रॉम वनीशा वनीशा यू टेल मी अबाउट लव व्हाट डू यू थिंक विल इट बी कंसीडर्ड मैम इट इज नॉट अ मैटर आई वी थिंकिंग मैम बाय बाय इज मैम राइटिंग काइंड लव काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स बिकॉज़ दिस इज देयर इन आवर एनसीईआरटी बुक आल्सो सो वी शुड नो राइट नेक्स्ट अक्षरा वैक्यूम एयर आउट ऑफ सम पर्टिकुलर नॉट next jitendra yes ma'am it is matter ma'am matter next harshit you tell me about cold drink ma'am it is matter yes it is matter again pranav yes eight Oh, yes, not a matter. Okay. Last Yukta, tell me about so uh, cotton. No, it is matter. <coughs> it is matter. I hope now you will identify all the substances as. either matter or not matter depending on what i have given you the pro what properties i have given everyone right yes. now i can tell you more about matter fine before we come to another topic but i will give you a few more things uh, a few more informations about matter fine just a moment children so what happened initially the scientists started to believe two things about the acha first and foremost thing is that matter very very important thing <coughs> very very important thing is that matter is made up of particles fine all the matter whatever we have is made up of particles now next important thing is that initially the scientists came up with two explanation they said that the particles which make up the matter either they are continuous i will explain you what does this word means let me just uh, write it and they said that uh, either it is continuous or or which i will just change the statement just a moment children okay so yes some scientists believe that the matter either looked very continuous or it was particle size or made of particles means for example i'll give you a very simple and easy example so that you are able to relate it you know the glass any glass you think of so if you look at a piece of glass you consider the spectacles you are wearing that also has some glass in it if you look at the glass you think that it is a continuous one 
right means it doesn't have any breaking in between or any uh, disturbance in between right but if you take that glass you drop it it breaks so what do you think it dissociates or breaks into many many pieces right means that it starts to behave as a particle so initially the scientists came up with these two theories only that matter could be continuous or matter could be made up of particles continuous means like in one flow and made up of particles means made up of small small particles joined together but finally it looks like continuous so after uh, like many discoveries and every uh, checking each and every property the conclusion which was made was that matter is not continuous is so conclusion given was that matter is not continuous but is made up of small particle which i have written at the top made up of small particles clear everybody fine now everything around us we see any particular thing around us every single thing around us is matter and is made up of small particles clear then for example our earth oceans mountains sun moon star our body our house chair um, table book everything is made up of particles fine now these part what are these particles now we are again and again saying that matter is made up of particles but what particles what particles is matter made up of what particles make up the matter make up the matter <coughs> does anyone know anything about it no i will tell you so basically the matter is made uh, or let us say these particles the particles that make up the matter could be two classifications either they could be atoms or they could be molecules fine atom in fact is the smallest unit atom is the smallest unit that make up the matter that make up the matter clear everyone atom is the smallest unit that make up the matter clear yeah? and when matter come uh, when atoms combine atoms combine together to form molecules so basically what are molecules they are also formed from matter is everyone clear with this you wish to note down anything or i'll move further i'm <coughs> noting down just a second and then we have a very um uh, nice activity which i will first tell you and then i will show you on youtube also right or either first i'll show you and then i will write it later explain it for the first time boys are just sitting and observing whatever ma'am is teaching right I hope Harshit and Pranav, everything what I am telling is making sense to you. Yes, ma'am. Actually, this is my old school. Actually, I learned this everything about this. This chapter, the entire chapter. Yes, ma'am. I learned it in seventh class only. So, it was ICSE. Okay, that is right. 
now you are in CBSE or ICSC? Man, I have changed to CBSE. That is when you you must be already aware. Even uh, we teach about all of this in our schools in class six and seven, like this particular thing. But later, what I'm going to tell you in this chapter that I'm quite sure that you must not have studied as much as of this. But this chapter is very easy and simple. So you're all going to enjoy. We will see a few videos related to all the activities which we have in NCRT as well as which which are all related to the properties. Fine. Can I move to the um, next activity or the next topic yeah okay so just one last thing i will be telling you okay first let us just brief what we have studied if we will have time then only i will move on to this one otherwise in the next class i will start with a new topic so the first and the foremost thing i told you was what matter is no what chemistry was what matter is then what uh how can we classify or identify not classify actually how can we identify if a given substance is matter or not matter and later what the scientists came up with the theories the first one being that the matter is continuous and the second one is that matter is made up of particles but then later taking the example of glass you can explain that it was concluded that matter is actually uh, not continuous but made up of small particles now what those small particles go <clears throat> tell me the small particles were atoms and molecules atoms and molecules what is an atom it is the who will tell me what is an atom ma'am can i ma'am can i so smallest unit that makes up the matter very good so aprana can you tell me what is a molecule <laughs> What is a molecule? Some atoms combined uh, is called molecule. Whenever atoms combine together, they form molecules. Molecule. Everyone, fine children. Uh, so the next thing which I was about to tell you is that the particles that make up the matter they are very 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 small and size particles of matter are very small in size and so small that we cannot see them with our naked eyes they are so small that we cannot see them with our naked eyes what does it mean it means that if you talk about a single atom we cannot see one atom in any substance we need maybe thousands of atom to see any substance right and then another thing is that how do we prove it that atom is made up of very tiny particles how do we prove it so we prove it by a small activity which i will be explaining you maybe we will not be able to see the video but later we can in the next class so how do we uh, show it i will uh, consider an example which is very much relatable to you and then we will see the example which is there in all the books right uh, everyone knows what ink is right let us say uh, we take a, a blue ink and we take a bottle of blue ink and we take 100 ml of water in one transparent glass in that i put uh, maybe 20 drops of ink it will dissolve completely right then i take another glass containing 90 ml of water fine so the previous water which was there which i had taken initially it was blue in color I take 10 ml of that water and put it the put that 10 ml of blue colored water in the 90 ml uncolored water. Mala means pure water. Clear? What are you going to observe? Just think and tell me what can you say? What will you observe? <clears throat> can anyone? If I take the blue colored water, 10 ml only, and put it in 90 ml uncolored water, then what are you going to see? 
will there be any color seen in that 90 ml no un... ma'am no color would be visible no color won't be visible uh, very light visible but faintly but there would be color you will observe color but lighter than what was there in the first glass fine if you keep on doing this activity with a few more glasses you are going to see that the color keeps on coming in all the beakers but the intensity of the color starts to decrease fine so this means that those 20 drops had so many particles like millions of particles there must be which got transferred that's why the color also got transferred clear everyone no need to worry we are going to start again from this particular topic in the next class fine meanwhile revise above whatever we i have told you i will show you the youtube video also which will make it much more clearer to everyone fine i hope you had fun in today's class you were all able to understand everything i hope to see you all in the next class have a good day bye everyone bye ma'am thank you thank you for the class ma'am bye ma'am bye